Beard Baron here today with a video on how to clean your combs and your brushes. So let's jump right into it. It's always a good idea to properly maintain your combs and brushes when it comes to your beard care because there's a lot of different kind of grime, hair, things that build up and add up over time and it depends upon how often you're using your combs and brushes and what kind of things you're doing with them, whether it's applying product or just running it through your beard. So we're gonna cover the basics of how to clean a comb and a brush. So I'm gonna start first with the workhorse that I always talk about in all my videos of applying product is the large beard comb. This is very easy to clean. Uh, I usually use the wide tooth side, so when I'm done using my comb with it's applying product, just take the beard hairs right on out. If I wanna wash this, some warm soap and water or warm water and soap, even better. Just run that under, work it all over. I could use a, like a scrub daddy or a sponge to get aggressively against, you know, really working it. But for the most part, my fingers in some soap and warm water will, will take most of any kind of grime, uh, any kind of you know, residue off of this. Rinse it under there a few times, and then I just dry it off with a paper towel or a hand towel. I usually stay away from using a, you know, tissue or toilet paper or something like that because these teeth will just eat that up and it just creates more of a mess and a little bit more frustration. If you're using a wooden comb, uh, you don't want to soak it. I always tell people with wood combs and brushes, do not soak them. You just want to rinse them because if you're going to soak any kind of wooden comb, uh, it, could, it could swell, it could split, it could get really compromised and it could you know, break right then and there, it could snap while you're using it. Uh, you don't want to soak a wood comb. So you want to stick to just rinsing it and don't rinse it too much. You don't want that much contact with water. A uh, simple rinsing will do just fine for a wooden comb. No need to soak it. When it comes to the beard brush, this is a little bit more labor intensive of properly cleaning this. Now here I have this beard brush and this is my wooden beard brush. It's fantastic, I love it. And usually the first thing I tell guys to properly maintain one of these, or if you have a plastic beard brush, is when you're done using it each time, just simply remove any of the beard hairs that you can see that have come out while you are brushing your beard. So say if I was brushing my beard, it does feel good. I'm done brushing my beard. I'll just look through this real quick. Take out any beard hairs that uh, and throw them away that I found from that brushing. Because if I don't do that and I just continue to brush my beard over and over again without taking out any of the beard hairs, they get driven further and further and further into the bristle uh, bed here. And it starts to build up and it starts to catch more debris. Uh, there's a weird kind of lint that it attracts and it becomes harder and harder to clean. So you're having a preventative, proactive approach to at just even taking out those hairs is a great start to cleaning it. Now when it comes to you have a lot of different kind of debris stuck further down, you're gonna easily use the beard comb. You can work your way through the sides, massage out any kind of debris in there that's gotten down there pull it out, discard it in the trash. You can work it row by row horizontally, vertically. You could use a, like a debit credit card kind of plastic material. You can use like a guitar pick. Uh, you can even use a small little knife, like one of those little Texas toothpicks. Love those little knives. Uh, you just want to work your way through. So give yourself some time. It's going to take a little bit of time to just meticulously work your way through. Again, if you're proactive about taking out debris after every uh, time you brush, that's gonna be less and less of an, of an issue. Uh, the other thing that you wanna do is you wanna massage the bristles, pat the brush. You wanna do this typically over a trash bin or a can. And again, then you go back to rubbing it, patting it, you can then go back in with your comb, work out the hairs, debris out of there. Yes, yeah, it just needs a good cleaning. And you can repeat this process as many times as you need. I'm just working it, cleaning it. You can you know, flick the bristles. You can bang it against a trash can. You want to be kind of careful. You don't want to damage the brush, so you want to go kind of easy. Don't get frustrated and aggravated with it and take your, all your hate out on your, your poor uh, beard brush. When it comes to washing this, again, when it comes to a wooden beard brush, you do not want to soak this. Some simple shampoo uh, and water Massage those bristles, work it in there, and rinse it and be done with it. Place the bristles down on a towel, hand towel. Let it dry overnight. You don't need to let it soak or run a ton of water through it. You always want to just massage right through, and it's that simple. Now, you can use any kind of cleaning kind of product where you, some people use baking soda, vinegar mixtures. Uh, like I said, hand soap, warm water is good. Shampoo is great for the beard. 
brush because it gets off, you know, a lot of the hair oils that are trapped in here. It gets those uh, bristles nice and clean. Now when it comes to a plastic beard brush, you can feel free to soak it because it's plastic, it's not wood. So you can soak it. When you're done soaking it, just rinse it and again, bristles down on a towel. Fairly simple, straightforward. Maintain your, your, your tools. They'll serve you well. I've had this, this, this beard comb and, and brush for years now. I just take care of them, good care of them, and I don't abuse them and just clean them. This is going to really depend again on what you're using for product. You know, it's good to get the scent off of it, uh, especially if you're rotating through a lot of different scents or different kinds of products, a lot of buildup, a lot of skin debris gets into beard brushes. So you do want to have that cleaned out because you don't want to be adding on to your beard. It's, it's strange if you've ever brushed your beard and you have like the hairs come off of a beard brush onto your beard and you got this weird like little kind of flying around kind of hairs and you're like, where, where, where's this coming from? So definitely take care of your stuff, guys. I love hearing from you. You know where to find me. Everything I just had on, on the video here is on thebeardbaron.com. Links down below. Say hello to me on social media. I love you guys. You got tips and tricks on how, how you clean your combs and brushes. Definitely leave them down below. I look forward to hearing from you. I'll talk to you soon. But until then, take care.